I'm here at Seabit Global Conferences with Dave Goldberg, the CEO of Survey Monkey. And um, so please, Dave, um, tell me what are the promises and disappointments of big data? Yes, well, big data is obviously something people are quite excited about. But right now, we're in the beginnings of sort of disillusionment. People sort of got it really excited about it. It got very hyped up. And then it hasn't delivered all the promises that people had. It wasn't possible. It was sort of people were promised that this was going to solve every problem they ever had with their customers, um, with employees. It was going to sort of revolutionize business. And of course, it may do those things, but it's not going to happen overnight. Um, but one of the things that we think is sort of fundamental that people misunderstood about big data is that it's about um, only about tracking people's behaviors, their activities implicitly. We call this implicit data. Uh, that is generally what people think of with big data. And one of the reasons for some of the disappointment is that that data tells you what people are doing, but it doesn't tell you why they're doing it. Uh, it also has this secondary negative effect, which is particularly problematic, which is it kind of makes people feel creepy. It makes them feel like they're being watched all the time and they don't really understand what data is being collected about them. So we think part of solving this problem around big data is actually to think about uh, what we call explicit data. That is asking people, a radical thought, mm -hmm. but asking people what they think. Why, why are they doing these things? And combining that with the implicit data really starts to give you a very valuable picture of what people are doing. So, for example, when people are um, buying something, um, are they buying it for themselves? Are they buying it for someone else? Asking them why they bought it tells you the answer to that. And so that combination of implicit and explicit data we think will actually make um, big data more successful. It's also really important to ask people why because it gets them more engaged, it gets them more loyal. If you actually take what they say from uh, why they want something done and then you take that behavior and translate it into actions, it rewards them with that feedback and they're more likely to be loyal. So companies that ask customers for feedback are much likely to have more loyal customers. Employees that ask uh, for their employees feedback are much more likely to retain their employees. Uh, Google, for example, learned a lot. They saw that they were having a problem with keeping women in there in at Google staying in the company, uh, but they didn't know why. And it turns out it wasn't a, they didn't have a problem with women. They had a problem with new moms. And new moms, when they surveyed them and said the maternity leave was too short, and that's why they were leaving. And so the survey, the implicit data told them what the problem was, but the explicit told them told them why and allowed them to fix the problem. And now their retention, they, they made their maternity leave five months long, and now their retention for uh, women is uh, much better in general. But it, it looked like it was a women problem, and it turned out to be this new mom problem. Thank you very much, Dave. It was great at, um, having you here on the red sofa. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.